Hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, I've been busy fitting the cabane on the cirrus moth. I'm leaving that to dry now. It's been epoxy and clamped. And I've turned my attention to uh, this model I was handed on Sunday. It turns out I've identified it now. It's a Newport 24, a design by David Boddington. And if you check back some of the other videos, um, I put the engine in the test stand that was, excuse me, handed to me at the same time. This is it. And it runs beautifully. So I thought, what the heck? There's nothing to stop me pushing on and seeing if this model can be salvaged. And the first thing I've done is I've stripped the covering off the wings and the one of the lower wings I've actually had pinned down to see if it would work. Stripped the covering off, cleaned it up a little bit. It still needs a little bit more clear cleaning up. I applied water to the trailing edge which had a, a warp in it, a twist in it or a wave rather, and I pinned it down to the board and left it for a bit. And I must admit, I'm quite happy with that. It straightened it up nicely. So let's see if it's worked just as well for this wing. And if it has, I was gonna say that's 50% of the wings done, but of course it's not a biplane. It's a sesquiplane, I think that's how you pronounce it which means that one wing is 50% um, smaller than the other. So a quarter of the job's done. Is that right? Let's have a look. There's still a slight kink in that. Here. It's still wet. It's still not dried out. So I'm going to pin it back down and leave it because I think that's definitely working. So I'll pin it back down. The other one... It's clearly dried out completely. This one has it. It feels actually cool to the touch. Pin it back down because I've got a feeling this might just work. And if it does, that's a win. And we'll have a look at the other wing. And I think I've come up with a, a solution for that, which is a little bit more dramatic. So let's pin this back down. Probably needs to be left overnight and I'll try I'll try my best not to be impatient that's what I will do I'll leave it overnight sometimes when you you push into this plaster board for some reason there are certain spots in the board underneath which is extremely tough I don't know why it is so that's pinned, quite happy with that. Now, the upper wing's a different story. So apart from the odd loose riblet, in fact, I've lost a couple on here, which will need replacing. I haven't got all of the covering off here, but what's clear is that the spruce trailing edge has twisted on both of the wings. And that's a big part of the problem, I think. And what I propose to do, there's actually a change in direction at that point there, which throws you off a little. What I propose doing is cutting this trailing edge off altogether and pinning it back down to the board. And instead of replacing it with spruce, I intend replacing it with a, a hard balsa trailing edge. I think that may just do the job. If you look down the wing, it's actually, it's less evident on that wing. You look down the wing, you can see there's a quite a bad bow in it and twist in it. And I think the only way around is to actually remove this and cut it off. Quite radical, I know, but it's not going to solve itself. This definitely needs to be resolved. There's a couple of bits of ribs that have buckled and bent, and I think they need to be sorted out. So I'm going to have a crack at that. As I say, that's a bit more radical. We'll come back when this is dried properly, so this will probably be over a period of days. I'll remove this trailing edge, we'll cut a new one and see if I can get this wing back up and running. 
to the next part it's time to have a look at the upper wing um, I lifted the lower wings and by pit wetting the balsa trailing edge and pinning it down I'm happy that they have come out really well the twist's been removed it's a very different case with the upper wing of this Newport 24 you can see there's quite a bad twist in it and this is a spruce I believe trailing edge and I don't think wetting it's going to make any difference at all so this is what I'm going to try and do I've had to cut out a little notch in the building board it's only plaster board so that's not a big deal for these uh, locating loops that hold the spars on so that I can get it nice and flat on the board or what should be flat going to line them up again now and I've marked out the position of the trailing edge and you'll notice that there's a a kink in it that's deliberate these ribs are longer than these ribs but there's way too much twist in that so what I propose doing is I'm going to pin the wing down where it should be flat and I'm going to remove this trailing edge of course that will involve removing some of the rib and I think these braces will have to go the distance and what I'm going to do is replace this trailing edge not with spruce but with a hard balsa that I have which will actually be thicker and I'll actually let in the position of the ribs into the balsa now the reason I'm going to do that is I haven't got uh, any spruce handy and if I cut this off I'll be left with a very small area to glue the spruce to. However, if I make the trailing edge wider and out of balsa, I can actually let it in and get a lot of the strength back. That's the plan of action anyway. So what I intend to do first is to pin down where I can on the board, get this as flat as possible. There are a few damaged spa, uh, riblets, which that's not a big deal. They can be replaced. Pin it down flat, remove this trailing edge and then we, we'll see where we are from there. That wing panel's pinned down flat now. Time to remove this rear spar. It's flush or bust now, let's see how it goes. I've cut out the 1 8th material it's quite hot well it is hard balsa which I hope will replace the strength of the spruce because it's going to be a little bit wider so the first thing I need to do is to create a scarf joint to allow for the change in direction of this trailing edge and I propose to do that by I'm going to pin this one down and I'm going to cut through both at the same time and if this joint's no good I it wobbles off, it'll wobble off through both layers and I hope produce a better joint we'll see so that's the position I'm even going to pin this down actually Quality these pins varies enormously, some of them are just hopeless and others are really good. Two different batches I think. Right, so I need to create a joint. There. Obviously trying to keep the blade as upright as possible. Trying to shoot around the camera here, it's not easy. Right, so that's cut through there. Now 
let's cut through there and there's our joint now I'm happy with that that'll work really well I need a little bit trimming off here I'll pin this down get it glued when it's set we'll cut it to length and then we'll try uh, matching it up to the wing itself here we go prep works done I've had to cut a hole into the baseboard um, for the tubing which holds the wing onto the cabane hollow out a little hole underneath each of these locating lugs for the spar it's all pinned down flat I'm happy with that now I've made the trailing edge now it's a case of marking on the positions of the ribs because I think by putting cutouts in then some triangular gussets I'll get all of the strength back that was there with the spruce wing trailing edge uh, later but more importantly it'll be square so I'm happy with that I've marked onto the board the position of the trailing edge so I can see that I can see what I've got to play with just try to line it up carefully here and now I'm going to mark on the positions of each of the ribs because a little notch will need to be cut out to allow for each of these this is a cunning plan that may just work there's lots of talk about plans at the moment this one I hope will be a success That'll need cutting out, and this end will need cutting out to make way for this part of the wing. I think it'll be stronger to actually cut it out and set it in rather than trim that off flush. But we'll see. So I'm going to cut those little notches out first. Then we'll come back and see how it meets up with the wing surface. It's now been notched out. Quite happy with that. I'm going to pin it down and glue it and when it's in this situation I'll also put the triangular strengtheners in place. I think I'll actually put them on both sides of the rib. Although they're only showing on one side on the other wing I'm going to put them on both sides to make up for the, the weakness of the slightly less dense uh, wood. Although I'm really happy with this it's a really heavy wood that's got a, it's come into its own here. We'll time lapse this, I'll glue it in place, we'll put all the gussets in and then that I'm calling this part of the job done. I'll repeat on the other side and then we'll come back and see what the finished wings look like. Well, there we have it. I'm not actually going to put a one on the other side. I don't think it's necessary having stuck those in. I'm quite happy with them. So leave it to dry. Don't fuss over it. I know it's difficult to do for all of us. While it's pinned down, I think I'll replace these ribs, riblets, and then they can be sanded down. And then that's three of the four wings done. This one, I'll do the same procedure and we'll see how it goes. Really pleased with that. I think we might have a model out of this. Well, there you go. I'm calling this a wrap. That's both wings trailing edge now replaced with the gussets in place and the riblets repaired. This needs filling in and this probably needs filling in. And I think I'm going to need some little wooden blocks inside here for uh, the retaining brackets that hold the upper wings onto the cabane. But that's worked and I'm really pleased with it. The only thing I need to consider is am I happy with that? It's not too bad. Or do I do the same with these and replace the trailing edge? That's spot on. So I think I can probably live with that and just take care when it comes to the covering. Um, fuselage next and we'll crack on with it next week. So this is a Newport 24.
another design by David Boddington. He doesn't get much wrong, does he? If you've enjoyed it, please subscribe if you haven't already done so and give it a thumbs up and that'll spread the word to uh, other YouTube users. Bye for now. Good flying, everybody. Get creative if you can't get flying.